What's going on guys, RIPA here using that max power return on YouTube and today we have a post commentary of the finals of the tournament I joined in yesterday. So a little bit of backstory on that. Yesterday, the Masters Official, which is a, um, I don't know, if, I can't really say community channel, but they're uh, a group of individuals who do different types of videos. Their link will be in my description and if you're on their channel then you should know that it's them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's that. and. I joined in this tournament. It was rescheduled from last week Friday to the to um, today. Uh, well, not today. Uh, yesterday, I should say. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that. Uh, this was the final round. The other two rounds, I was going to do something with them, but this was the best one to be quite honest. And it just the other two really weren't. They weren't fantastic. I'll say this was a very good one. I had to do a lot to win this. So uh, just a little bit of preview on my team. I got Mega Sableye uh, with. Gliscor, uh, Heatran, and Ferrothorn has a sort of defensive type of core, but um, Heatran's being specially defensive, the other four being more base physically, but with uh, Ferro and Sableye being mixed. Uh, Keldeo and Victini were meant to hit hard from both sides, from either side of the spectrum, Victini being physical and Keldeo being a special monster. And look at the opponent's team, we have a Talonflame. Talonflame is always threatening, uh, but that's why I had Heatran in the first place. It was a little bit scary <laughs> at points, I'll say. But uh, yeah, I really, it, it did its job. He's got, he was rocking the Mega Slow, bro. I was, that was a problem. I had assessed that from the beginning. It was going to be a huge issue. Durant is something you don't really see in OU very often, so I was very curious to see what he, the way he was going to play it. Greninja is obviously a monster, although it was a different Greninja than I was expecting, to be quite honest. And then Latios just being itself. <laughs> and Clefable. <laughs> oh man, if, if I had let it do some stuff, that would have been very, very bad for me. So yeah, I'm actually on the other side of here. Uh, you see R.I.P.R. up there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the battle real quick. And yeah. So he's going to lead off with his Talonflame. I really with Sableye. I thought he was going to go for Brave Burst. So I'm going to go straight into Heatran. Predicting that he goes for the U-turn and he's just going to go into his, <laughs> into his Greninja. And I'm just going to get all my HP back. It's not bad at all. So predicting a water type, we're going to go into Ferrothorn. He actually goes for U-turn. Gets the crit. Does a little more than uh, he bargained for. But he does make a good play by U-turning out. So he's going to get a free turn to Mega Evolve with his slow bro. And here I was very... <laughs> I was taken uh, way off guard there. I did not expect him to have flamethrower on this um, slowbro. I thought I should have the way he brought it in. So this is going to be very crucial. I need to get some type of status onto this slowbro because Mega Slowbro cannot be crit or anything like that, and it has insane defenses. So I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go back into my Sableye and. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. I still have a turn of Prankster, so I just recover right there. And he's going to go for Skull. Unfortunately, it's going to burn me, but he is going down gradually to this um, Toxic. So, he's going to go into his Clefable as I just try to heal up my Sableye, just trying to keep it alive. And I'm going to make the switch out into my Heatran, knowing that he really can't do too much to me. I did not expect it to be a Cosmic Power, uh, Stored Power variant. So, yeah, there's that. But I still do just about half a Flash Cannon at plus one. <laughs> with Clefable at plus one, so Heatran's doing quite a bit of work. Uh, anyway, so he's gonna take this opportunity to switch out into his Latios. So I really want to see what type of hidden power he has, or if he has Surf. And he goes for hidden power, and that leads me to believe that his hidden power fighting couldn't be ground because it did not do much at all. So there's that. And yeah, so I got the Toxic off on Latios too, so I got two of his mons down to Toxic. So he's gonna go straight for the Defog here. I am gonna bounce it back, but it doesn't matter because it's basically as if I used Defog. So my rocks are off the field again. That that puts me in a little bit less of a favorable situation. I go for the knockoff here. It might have actually been better for him to lose the life orb on his Latios. You'll see why later. It, it, it kind of cost him just a little bit. But I'm going to go for the recovery here with my Sableye. Uh, expecting him to go for Scald again. <laughs> I'm going to go for recover again just in case. As he is going to go into his Greninja. So I think that I, I'm thinking I can handle this thing one on one. At least for a little bit. And he flinches me with the first waterfall. This is a little annoying. So uh, I wanted to keep Sableye around, so I wanted to go for Recover next time around. And yeah, so I'm going to get the Recover off. He is gradually losing health because of the Life Orb. And here I really wanted to make the Will-O-Wisp play. And he's going to flinch me again. That's very unfortunate. And Shadow Sneak is going to do nothing at all for my Sableye. So yeah, there's that. Uh, it's whatever though. <laughs> it's part of the game. It's all part of the game. So. There's that. So, uh, well, I was actually, let me pause it right there for a second. I was actually very, uh, <laughs> I was very taken aback by this Greninja set. I've never seen a fully special, uh, fully physical, excuse me, Greninja. And that actually, whew, 
that was very it, it was it was perplexing I'll say that I had no clue that that was gonna be coming at me so that was that was pretty good that was pretty good right there so he is gonna go into his I'm gonna go in well excuse me I'm going to my Victini and you turn out because I know I'll be able to KO him I'll go straight into my glide score so I'm able to get the toxic off oh uh, well to get the um, toxic heal going I go for protect because if he has flamethrower on slow bro I mean why not have ice beam on Clefable I was actually very scared of that so he's gonna go for the stored power here it's not gonna do too much to my glide score at all even though he don't he's because he's only really at plus one at, uh, in defense special defense we can go to heatran here he doesn't predict it he goes into talent flame but he can just u-turn out so that really is that that play didn't really hurt him at all so he's gonna go into his latios and I'm gonna go straight for my stealth rocks again and I am going to stay in here to take the hidden power fighting. I really didn't think that I needed to switch out at this point. I go for the flash cannon, and it does a very good amount. Now here I make a little bit of a misplay. I should have seen the defog coming and gone for rocks again, which would have had free rocks, and Latios would have gone down to his toxic poison. But you know, you make mistakes. It didn't really turn. It didn't really affect me too much here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the substitute glide score. As he goes for Psychic, is that going for Scald? I mean, I guess he was, uh, in case I switched into, um, Keldale there. Although I don't really see why I would. So I'm gonna go for the Protect there, I have to go in for the Sub. I just wanna make sure that his Poison is at a good couple of turns before I switch out. And he goes back into his Clefable. I go for the Substitute, and I am gonna be able to take it out with two Earthquakes, uh, with one at plus one and one being with one at him and plus one defense and one at him just being normal the combined damage is going to be enough to take out this clefable and that's going to be a great thing gone glide score is doing all of the all of the work in this match here so he's going to go ahead and go for the brave bird on his um on his uh, talent flame i did not expect the shell bell that was something interesting that i see but um i went for the toxic just to make sure i get some damage off on it and my only attacking move is earthquake so i really just wanted to make sure that uh I had some damage going on him before I did anything else. So he goes for the U-turn on my glide score. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, he's getting he got like one percent back from the shell bell that time. As he's gonna go into his Durant here, I go for the substitute. And uh, yeah, I know he can't KO me with anything at all. <laughs> well, I'm already through the can't even do anything for the substitute either. So I'm just gonna go for the EQ. And yeah, that's gonna bring him down to about 57%. So that's that, that's put me in a pretty good position. He goes for the rock slide. He's probably a hustle, uh, hustle to ramp. And he has the select berry, so he gets his speed up too. That put me in a. It got me confused because I thought I could go into a Victini just to make sure I take him out in case he wanted to do that. But I am going to take out this Durant Glyscore just being a monster again. So I'm going to go into my Heat Drain here just as a sacrifice. Uh, or if he decided to go for Slack Off, I could go for uh, my Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go into Victini here, so I think he makes a little bit of a misplay. I go for the Bolt Strike here. It takes 29% from him. He goes for Scald instead of going for Slack Off. And it is going to cost him his slow bro because he cannot switch out. Bolt Strike will take out his um, Talon Flame, and Bolt Strike will also take out his slow bro as you just saw. So he's gonna be able to take out Victini here. I pretty much got the battle uh, in my hands. I could have chosen to go into uh, Keldale just to get some damage off <laughs> on it because of uh, how much Brave Bird would be doing, but the Shell Bell is a thing too. So I'm just gonna protect on his Brave Bird right there, and yeah, that's gonna happen. So it's gonna go for Brave Bird. It's only doing 31% the Glide Score, so I pretty much uh, solidified the win here. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I was in a good position. So I'm gonna go for Protect through the Substitute just to make sure that it doesn't go down. He does make a decent play and go for the Roost, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. He's taking massive amounts of damage from the Toxic. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and break the sub with the Brave Bird. And yeah, there's that, there's a the shell, but I'm going for EQ just because it forces him to, if he roosts, EQ takes him out, if he doesn't, Toxic will take him out eventually, and that is going to be the battle against him. So that was a very good battle, I had to work incredibly hard. To uh, for those of you that follow me, you know that stall really isn't my playstyle, I mean I do have teams, I have multiple teams for stall. Uh, these I just made, <laughs> this one I literally made the day of, which was yesterday. I literally made it yesterday and it was it's a very very nice and balanced type of stall team and it did quite a bit of work for me so thanks guys thanks <laughs> thanks team so uh, I hope that each and every one of you enjoyed uh, t check out the Masters official uh, they host monthly tournaments for Pokemon Showdown for those of you interested and um, hmm, what else did I want to get across I think that was about it uh, yeah so expect more post commentaries in the future um, and yeah, I hope I, I thank them for hosting this tournament. And yeah, I think that's really all I needed to say. So uh, until we meet again, all right, peace out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.